Hello some friends, I have another glitch for y'all. I saw this on a Facebook group and the and I learned this from Adventure Sims. What you're gonna do for this glitch is actually pretty simple. It took me a little bit to learn, but it's really neat. So let's get started. Okay, so all you need for this glitch is a pregnant sim because that's basically all I know how to do right now and you need a crib any crib will do so what you are going to do is build a 12 wide by 10 height i guess you'll call it a uh, room in the basement Once you're done with that room, you are going to build a room up on the ground that is attached to the basement. So as you can see in the grid. So now what you're going to do is take the snow chalet landing and place it over the room in the basement. And that's what it will look like. And then what you're going to do is go to the outside um, and you're going to build a patio over that room. And as you can see, there isn't anything there. It's just blank, which is good because that's what we want. And you're going to choose a railing like anyone will do. Now what you're going to do is take these exterior stairs and you're going to place them against a balcony that is attached to a room on the side. What you're going to build is going to be a three by one room and then you're going to add a story, add another story, and then you're going to take a balcony and attach that onto the room. And then you're going to, and it's a three by one size, and then you're going to go to the exterior stairs and place them against that balcony. And you should be left with this. So after that room is built, what you're going to do is take your pregnant sim and click on the crib to have a baby. And then what you're going to do is buy another one of those exterior stairs and place it down into the room in the basement. And I'm placing it against the edge because that's what you do not want to do, but I wanted to show you what happens when you do that. So then you click on the back arrow of the baby and you are left with a railing against the stairs. You do not want to do that. Um, so it took me a little bit of time, but now I know how to do it. Now you're going to repeat the same process, only you're going to place the stairs two grids above that white line. So you're going to buy another stair and place it two grids above that white line. Then you're going to click the back arrow of the baby to abandon the sim. And you are left with a stairway that has not got a railing and the sim is able to now use the stairs. So now you're going to repeat that same process, but you want to make sure that you line up the stairways just like evenly because if you have um, have the stairway against the white line, like I'm showing you here, it is going to have a railing, just like that. And that's not what we want. So we're going to have the Sim have a baby, and then we're going to buy another staircase, and we are going to line it up two grids above the white line. Going to hit the back arrow to abandon the sim. And now you have the two stairways. 
so after I'm done with that, I just made the room in the basement shorter and I just left it at two grid lines above the stair cases so that they don't have a railing. And so now, as you can see, the sim is able to use the stairways. I think it looks really neat. I really like this glitch. It's something a lot different and it looks really cool. So I hope y'all enjoyed this and, and I will see you guys in my next video.